Avengers Age of Ultron is a spectacular, funny, riotously entertaining superhero sequel. But even a director as skilled as Joss Whedon can't escape the problem now affecting the franchise. There are just too many Avengers. The plot of Age of Ultron, which is inspired by, but actually wildly different to the iconic comic book storyline, is simple. In their bid to create the Iron Legion, a robotic Earth defense system, Tony Stark and Bruce Banner unwittingly create an evil artificial intelligence that sets out to destroy the Avengers. Sounds simple? It's not. Throw in Loki's scepter, Hydra, super-powered Maximoff twins Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch, a whole load of Vibranium and a bunch more subplots, and you'll start to appreciate the absolute massive material that Whedon has to assemble in just over two hours. You can see why it appears to have nearly killed him. Ultron, voiced by James Spader, makes for a far more entertaining villain than the bland alien races or scheming politicians that have populated recent Marvel sequels. Ironically, and maybe intentionally, Ultron actually feels more human than his godlike foes. However, despite the performance and some brilliant lines, he never feels quite as dangerous as his Avengers slaughtering comic book iteration. It's no spoiler that none of the key Avengers will die. Captain America and Thor already have third sequels announced, which will include Iron Man and Black Widow, so we know that they're going to win in the end. The entertainment comes in knowing how they'll get there. But what entertainment it is. The action scenes are pretty spectacular. You'll want to see it just for the Hulk vs. Hulkbuster fight that you see in the trailer. The one-liners are hilarious. It's full of touching personal moments. And while the fight scenes occasionally veer into Transformers territory, a bit too much happening to know what's going on, the film also contains, as Whedon told Wired, some of the most iconic comic book frames he's ever shot. Because of all the high points, it's easy to forgive the film's flaws. It's way too busy. There are some rather indulgent cameos, and if you haven't seen all of the Marvel films, expect to get lost a few times. The new additions, including Paul Bettany's The Vision, aren't quite fleshed out enough. It's ambitious, and it's just plain fun. In fact, Age of Ultron is that rare thing, a two and a half hour action film that would actually benefit from being about 10 or 15 minutes longer. As it is, there just isn't enough time for everything. So, without wanting to sound like a supervillain, here's Wired's plea to Marvel. It's time to kill some Avengers. Retire them, replace them, whatever. Earth's Mightiest Heroes have gotten too big. Especially given that Marvel's Phase 3, which kicks off with Ant-Man in July, and will introduce even more characters to the equation, including Doctor Strange and Black Panther, before Avengers Infinity War in 2018. So, our question, you're Marvel. Who do you kill? Leave us your feedback at Wired UK on Twitter or in the comments below.